Hello everyone, I'm with Real 777 here. This is the Panzer Elite. Now, on the last video, I remember that I accidentally left out the Puma armored car. I was gonna put it in C tier. Um, it's the armored car, so who really cares about the armored cars? They're not even too useful. I won't, I will not rank one above B, maybe even C. But who knows, maybe the Panzer Elites will bring something different. The British are the last because I think out of all of them, they have the most stuff. Dot. So, I'm trying to think, and I think I have everything. So, of course, F is the worst, S is the best. Let's go. First, we have the mortar half-track. I could not find any images of a mortar half-track. So, I just took a mortar team, slapped it, call it a half-track. I want to put this in B, C, ah, B tier. So, the mortar half-track has short range, but don't let that fool you. It's fast moving, and honestly, what I like about it is it's incendiary round. That thing will smack. If you get a lot of them, oh boy, the damage quickly stacks. They're really powerful, so. The 88 S tier. Wait, Henry, but no, no, no. They might have some stuff, but this only takes up 8 pop cap. Compared to the 11 that the freaking normal Verbach does, this one, it's better because it takes up less pop cap. But actually, I'm going to put it in A tier, though. It does not belong in S. Only the top god stuff. It's an A tier, though. But I would rank it like if I, if I was really being like, if there was a thing besides A tier, I would put it there like A plus tier. Whatever. Next we have the Hotchkiss, which is a, uh... Um... The B... Ah! Yeah. I'm... I'm... I'm, like... I'm torn. A or B. A or B. Because the Hotchkiss can get those missiles on the side, and it can get a 36 mil gun. I'm going to put it in B, because honestly, it's a tiny light tank, but it can have rockets on its side, and it destroys. Not only that, but the 36 millimeter, real good. Next, we have, what is this? The Vea Blend. Now, you might be thinking, oh, four-barreled Oswin, S-tier. No. This? Mm -mm. This does not have that much power. It, it it shoots really fast and it's amazing, but it's weaker than a freaking Oswin. I feel like it's always dying, so I'm gonna put it in B tier. I feel like it's always dying to me, like it always dies. Next, what is this? Oh yeah, this is a munitions half track. I cannot find any images of them. They have, like, five different types of half-tracks, but they only show, like, two of them. But whatever. So, what does it do? Well, things that have a munitions ability, um, it can go close to them and, like, slow them down. Or, like, I think, like, inc decrease the timer. But, really, I don't think a lot of stuff has that in the arsenal. Next, we have the normal half track. Again, I want to put this in B tier. The only difference is it only has one machine gun. Works like all the other ones. So, yeah, that's that's about it. And next, we have the scout car. Beats. Guys, guys, hear me out. It does not belong in these tiers. It belongs in maybe I'm torn. A lot of you might be thinking, Henry, the scout car is absolute doggy dog crap. I know it is, but it can do something called the lockdown territory. For 25 or 35, I'm pretty sure it's 35 munitions, it can lock down. Basically, it kind of caps the territory, like putting a, a uh, observation post over it. I call it cap, but it like basically locks it down and it's better than an observation post. It only takes up two pop cap and 220 manpower. Now, I've been saying munitions 
because I want to call manpower munitions because I'm more used to saying munitions because yeah I used to play the game this cat and crad do I need to explain the daddy cat and crad I'm gonna put it in B tier guys might be thinking whoa 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 what the hell is a cat and crad a cat and crad is a small little capturing thing it's designed to capture it only takes up one pop cap and I think it costs like 160 manpower now why is it so good I like it because depending on the doctrine if it's tank destroyer it'll pick the um you can have it set mines if it's I think scorched earth it can fix or like repair actually scorched earth tap doctrine oh uh, yeah, yeah 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 then I'm gonna rank defenses I know that might sound weird and everything should be s tier but hey we have the British and some other stuff but like buildings I'm also gonna rank buildings Actually, I shouldn't rank buildings. All of them have their own purposes, and it depends on if you use them or not. So, yeah, and basically, I think if it's on the, um, I'm trying to get, I have a robe on. Okay, so, never mind. All right, let's continue. Next, we have this baby seat here. Henry, it's the Panzer IV. No, it is not. It's the Panzer IV Infantry Support Tank. Why is it bad? I'll tell you. Look at that stubby ass barrel. That's a stub. Freaking tiny. Ass. It's literally a Panzer III. It's not even a four. It looks like a Panzer III. It sucks because not only that, but also it does. It has super low. Its armor is ass garbage. I don't use this. Just I don't. I sometimes I'll use it. Next, let me use these. Fos, Fos, Fos C tier. I would like the Fos Amigas if they had a freaking purpose. You want to know how they camouflage? They can't be moving and have to be behind heavy cover. They're not even Fos They just, they just come from the area. They don't even drop from the skies. There's, and you can equip them with FG 42s. Those aren't, those aren't even good. Oh my god, they suck. Don't, don't use the foes. Because I'll, I'll find myself never using it. Light AT half track B tier. Henry, it's an AT. Uh, no, it's a light AT. This thing is not that great. It might be cheap and take up less pop cap. Again, I couldn't find an image. This is probably going to be the longest video so far. And, um, yeah, so... Actually, yeah, I'm going to keep it at that because it doesn't deal a lot of damage. And next, what is this? Swim. I'm sorry, Swim. The cat and crowd is better than you. Wait, is this a Swim? Oh, no, this isn't the Swim. Wait a minute. What, ha what half track is this? They have like five different goddamn half tracks. I can't tell... Oh, it's a Funkwagen F tier. You want to know what to use this? It's a cloaked vehicle. That's already hard enough. But it, like, cuts off the territory so it doesn't let the enemies use it. Yeah, they totally will not find that out, that their fuel or munitions is going down. This thing is ass. I've, n I've tried to use it so many times, and it's always failed. Oh, yeah, the Grenadiers are S tier. Uh, you literally cannot play the game without them. They're like your engineers. And they can get advanced repairs. And you can get them either at Sturm Gewehr 44, a Gewehr 43, or uh, Panzer Shreks. So, I really like them, but I don't. Assault Grenadiers are, again, S tier. In fact, why don't I just make this easy and put all the Grenadiers in S tier? They're all so good at what they do. This thing shreds infantry. This thing is amazing against tanks, bazooka, all that. Uh, armored cars, again, C tier. What more do I need to say? It might actually be the worst out of all the armored cars. Just because it only has an auto cannon. At least the Vermox has more health and can actually get a 50mm anti-tank gun. Piece of crap. 
Hetzer is A, a tier. I was torn on the Hetzer. I like it because it's fast. It's got good health. And it's only 600 manpower. It only takes a pay pop cap. And it's got a good gun. But, I mean, like, you don't want to get too many of them. What is this? The Hummel is A tier. What is a Hummel? You can get three of them. And they're basically like a mobile howitzer. That's what I love about them. The fact that they're mobile. Oh my. And they can lock down the position, meaning they have more range. It's it's just so great. And bike. Oh, Schwimmwagen. E tier. Oh, it's just pretty bad. Don't use it. Cat and Crat is better. Uh, we're down to last three. I want to save these two for last. Uh, this is the Martyr 3 C tier. It's not as good as the Geschutzwagen. Want to know why? It has less health than it. I don't like the Martyr 3. Finally, uh, we have the Bear Tiger. What's a bear? I couldn't find an image, but this is easy at, at S tier. What is a Bear Tiger, Henry? Well, it's like a tiger, but it has like a little hook. I can't find it. Imagine this with like, what the hell? Imagine this was like a hook or like a little, yeah, like a little thing that's going like up and then a hook coming down. That's basically what it is. It has advanced repairs, meaning it repairs faster and I think better. And it can bring vehicles back from the dead as long as you don't salvage wreck or destroy them or they're not hurt in any way. Even if your pop cap is full, it can bring them back. So it is so good. And it only takes up eight pop cap. And I think you can only get one at a time. Finally, get the Yog Panther eight uh, S tier. Now the Yog Panther, imagine a King Tiger that's faster. I think, I think has similar health, but deals more damage. That's the Yog Panther. It is so good. And I don't think it takes up as much pop cap. I love the Yog Panther so much. I like how I feel like this thing never freaking dies. I love it. Although, um, I'm sure everyone else hates when it's using it against it. Why is this shrimp cat and crab better? I mean, honestly, I, I would love to drive one of these things. Like cat and crab. No, so cute. And also, I don't know why, but I feel like this thing is just better than the freaking swim. Oh, man, Cat and Cry, you're so good. Does it deserve to be in B tier? Yes, it does. It's so, like, I'm going to make a re-edit, and I'm going to put this thing in C tier. Honestly, light AT gun, that is, it has the worst out of AT gun. It is doggy dog crap. Snoop doggy dog crap, I should say. I don't like it, because if it can never kill a Sherman. It can never kill any tank that's... Not a freaking M10 or a light car, because those things have shoddy health. I see you, Funk Wagon. You suck. Um, yeah, so this is my tier list. Um, British will be coming out in two... Uh, actually... I'm gonna take... Uh, probably, uh, yeah. Yeah, so... Goodbye, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. The British will be coming out soon. Probably, like two days and goodbye